Jorge Masvidal was on Rumble and was asked when he'd fight versus Nate Diaz again. He said he was open to it because he was tired of Nate complaining that his cardio wasn't the best and that he was going to take over the fight in rounds 4 and 5. Jorge felt he dominated and believes none of it. If you don't remember, the fight was stopped because Nate had two gashes on his face that opened up. Well, Masvidal said, that motherfucker don't want it, man. I almost damn near killed him. I beat him an inch within his skinny life. You saw his last fight with Leon Edwards. I was like, man, they make that mistake and put this guy in there with me again, you know? He's not trying to fight. What was his excuse then? His cardio wasn't the best? He was gonna win round four and five? I don't know what. Man, that little f***ing broomstick keeps talking. You're going to have to go out at some point, you know? When I take Kobe Covington's out, if I gotta wait for Usman, it could be you that gets this ass whooping, bro. I'd beat the shit out of you just to keep myself entertained. At first, it started off all cool and amicable, but you're fucking idiot bro you said some dumb ass shit numerous times and i've forgiven you let's fucking go man i want to break your fucking face bro it's not a call out after handling business i'm going for the title and if i don't have time to go for the title i'm gonna break your fucking face for all the shit talking you've done Chael Sonnen jumped on his YouTube channel to talk about Jamal Hill's KO victory over Johnny Walker and considered the punch to be lucky. Sonnen said it wasn't set up in the greatest fashion and wasn't delivered with much power behind it. Jamal caught wind of this statement and responded on Instagram by saying that he wouldn't mind explaining it to someone who would give him the time of day in an interview. Here's Jamal responding to Chael. Hey, uh, uh, I was wishing until you said this. Come on, man. You that wasn't a very hard punch. That wasn't a beautiful punch. That punch was not set up fantastically. Your foul would admit that. What? <laughs> That's crazy. He was going around all the bases. Come on, he bro. In the one spot where that kind of power from that kind of shot could end your night. And it did. But I didn't. And that's only, that's only a one inch circumference. Right on. Come on, uh. Fuck chill, come on, man. I, I know we got love, baby, but come on, baby. No. Ooh. <laughs> hey, yo, y'all want to see, y'all want to know the real, what's real about that punch and everything like that, bro. Somebody, somebody come to me. I'll break it down for y'all. UFC, somebody holla at me. We can break this down. After Johnny Walker suffered his KO loss to Jamal Hill at UFC Vegas 48, he came under a ton of criticism and mocking from all social media platforms. So much so that his fiance Tara Campbell was even affected negatively by it and felt the need to speak out publicly on the matter after receiving vile and toxic messages on her social media pages. She shared a few where someone said, Sleepy wanker, ha ha ha, you got a weak man, he sucks, your kids will be a failure just like him. Another read, I hope Johnny shagging is not as bad as his fighting. And another showed a pic of Johnny getting knocked out. Here's what her response was to all this. Check it out. Losing is part of the sport. No part of me is disappointed in losing. Like, you know, you've really lost if you haven't learned anything and Johnny certainly has. I just have been so astounded by the negativity and the, the comments and the messages and the and the memes and everything. Like, it is just, it, it's just taken absolute wind out of me like you know on Saturday night after the fight Johnny as like precaution had to go to hospital he was very confused and and just he had a concussion so the doctors checked him over but they said they wanted him to go to hospital so him and I went in the ambulance and he couldn't make sense of what had happened in the fight he didn't know what year it was he couldn't recall flying to America you know so I'm there trying to reassure him trying to tell him everything's going to be okay but I don't know that like so we get to the hospital and because of COVID and there was a lot of um, trauma in the emergency room, I sat in the waiting room and was just waiting to hear news. So I go onto my phone to message friends and family and stuff to tell them that it's going to be okay. And I had like vile, disgusting messages from private accounts antagonizing me, antagonizing Johnny, zooming in on pictures, calling me a bitch, calling you a number of names. You know, and I can only imagine you've got far more, but just like, you know, loss happens, that's fine. I just cannot get my head it's around. Toxic. It's totally toxic. And I just can't, like, what, excuse my French, but what person watches a fight, sees someone get a head injury, screenshots it, zooms in, and goes onto social media and finds my Instagram and messages me to antagonize me? You haven't yet been cleared by the doctors. Like, we didn't know that he was okay at this stage. And I just, 
the thing is it's not coming from any other athlete and it wouldn't i've seen like other athletes have reached out and have you know been nice and said these things happen and they do happen but it's the idiots the morons who sit behind a phone or a keyboard and just send their sh and most days it doesn't matter like sometimes i get comments remember i got one that said i had a body like bay watch and face like crime watch bit of crack i can have a laugh i don't take myself too seriously but this is just cruel and for what like does it make them feel better i don't know like you know after the fight you know congrats to, to jamal he was lovely he was so nice all fight week we met him we spoke with him he's a really cool guy and as he, like he said it's just your competitors and your method of com competition is fighting could happen with him as well if like, i like him out yeah. so i'm doing this video not because of me but because of others if it happened with him as well of other fighters you know in the same situation but nobody talked through the, yeah. the, i'm just talking to make people aware that how the fans and how some media people yeah media as well media as well is just hard about no they you don't know, care media about media outlets who reached out to johnny last we week we make the for fucking show for the guys everybody watching yeah. it's not everybody like most of the films is amazing you know yeah but have these garbage people and media that use our like injuries for yeah. memes essentially and it's clickbait and it's pathetic and i know you know i know what people will comment and say like you know just ignore it and stuff but on days like saturday it was hard to just ignore it because it was like it was it was hard going you know the last thing you need whenever you're worrying about your fiance is this kind of shit. and you know i have to say the nice comments and there were many they were far they were so appreciated because mm. you know much more much more comments than bad but yeah. these bad ones it's really bad you know people yeah. just seek uh -huh. i wish these people could get better in life you know maybe they're just jealous they don't can get our, the achievement that we can <laughs> go to, you know, yeah. but yeah. go ahead, my friend. You can try to be a fighter. I would love to meet well. some of these people in person because yeah. I would, you know, try to help them or beat the shit out of them. Shit out of them, I think. I would normally take the high road, but right now I feel like I can put someone else in an ambulance. Yeah, but that is it. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I just I thought it would be good for Johnny. Or you thought it'd be good for you to sit down and kind of do this video explaining and maybe other fighters hopefully can i don't know speak on their experiences and share this and stuff and it probably won't like i think if you're a toxic vile person who thinks it's okay to leave comments anyway you probably will continue doing that kind of shit. but maybe if there's kind of a, a human behind the accounts people might consider or reconsider and stop so and finally, as we know, Chan Sung Jung recently started training with Henry Cejudo. Jung was on the MMA Hour and was asked if Henry Cejudo would be in his corner when he faces Alex Volkanovsky. Jung stated that Henry was very involved in his camp and didn't realize how smart he really was. He said, Henry Cejudo has been helping out so much. He's been in every practice, every team meeting that we have. He's actually doing sparring rounds. I'm super grateful. I didn't realize he was so intelligent fight IQ wise. When you see him on TV, he's cringy and all that, but off camera, he's telling me what to do he's wrestling coaching as he's sparring he's a huge part of this camp as always guys if you like the video make sure to hit that like button for me if you're new subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date thanks for watching